Ken versus Tilde. Yep. Palu and Falco. Lots of over on uh, Smashville, okay. Interesting. All right, let's see how this ends up going about. Oh my god, did you see the spacing right there at the very beginning? Tony, both players have amazing spacing when it comes to like, their, like, both players are good at spacing in general, making sure that they're not in the way of their opponent's moves and making sure that their moves are going to connect if they were to do so. So yeah. this, is a, this is a game of footsies. At, look, 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 right here. A game of footsies at this point. It's footsies, but okay, finally a single hit comes in and oh my god, all this damage as a result. Even more with the re-grab on the platform and trapped in the corner can... Oh, he just oh, reads the roll! Right, though. Man, it felt like actually, like, Tilde had a total command of the neutral, but he would get a single hit and it wouldn't really matter that much. Whereas, Jen got a single hit and did like 74%. Mm -hmm. Kind of roll over. <gasps> oh my god. Gain that, like... That uh, Palutena read, knowing that she's gonna come to the stage anyway, and gain that perfect frame to make sure that she's not quite invincible yeah. yet, and gain that down air. It's it's funny. This is actually kind of like a, a projected roll reversal. Okay, never mind. That's um, what we normally know yep. from Jen. But the fact that like it was Jen getting all these on stage combos with crazy resets, and then it was Tilde getting the stock on like you no know, on the ledge. But, you know, it seems that now Jen is returning to his form once again. Can he also to the read right there? How is he? How, I, I can't believe he baited him into doing that. Jen has amazing spacing and knowing how long, his, like, how short his point will go. And staying just out of that range. But right now, Tilde, oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was going to say Tilde's Tilde getting a little bit presented on Jen, but Jen completely reversing that. This was a flame? Nah. Oh, that was such a good recovery from Tilde. And actually getting that up tilt at the ledge, really good opportunity. Can he do anything with it? The reversal from Jen. No, instead, Tilde once more is off stage. This is, hold on a second. They're just getting off, they're getting off the ledge for free. Both, oh. I don't know what's going on. Oh, Jen catching the, the, the Tilde, the usual Tilde up air with that, um, with the Nairs. Not allowing him to finish his combos. Did you see how brave that up B was from Tilde? Yes. Again with the brave oh up B. That goodness. time he gets punished for it. He got a little bit too cocky about that. He got away with it the first time. Second time, though, Jen was, in fact, ready. And, oh, man, with that lead, let's see if Jen can maybe extend it into an entire game lead because this is looking pretty rough for Tilde. Oh, my oh, God, that's is he it. dead? Are yep. you actually dead? That's it. Get too close. That platform was just was just the, the bread and butter for for Palutena. Getting the Fal Falco up in the air like that and making sure that you're that close to the blast zone with that up air will be game. I didn't know that bread and butter was steroids. <laughs> Jeez. Not gonna have the right word, but I just felt like Palutena and platforms going high up. You're done with up air. You're done. You're done. <laughs> yeah. You're done. Oh man. In the Swish, swish, swish. I, I felt like that game could have gone either way, and then eventually just the scales tipped, and Jen just... Mm -hmm. It was like an avalanche at that point. Three, two, one, oh. Go. Right, actually, um, it looks like... Okay, curious. Battlefield and Kalos were banned. I'm curious as to why those were the stages, and... I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, normally, Falco really does like this stage, but Palutena, also a fan of it as well. Uh, I mean, it's going to be with those uh, ledges that are a lot closer to the blast zone. Getting kills with something like back air is going to be a uh, possibly juicy thing for Palutena to do. Yeah, I mean, for, I mean, for both these uh, characters, these platforms that are now gone, um, that's crazy, are going to be a very detriment very good for both of their, uh, their combo starters. Oh, but here, oh, okay, no, he didn't get to finish off of that, uh, from that uh, down air. But right now, both players kind of teetering. <laughs> the, the, the spacing. I'm trying. They're dancing. <laughs> trying to figure out who's gonna approach first. Who's closer? Can I? Can this? Can my nair hit you? Can my side be hit you? But right now, but again, both players having great spacing around one another, <sighs> using short hop nair loops in order to try and get them attacks. But that, right now, totally getting off of that uh, was Jen. So good, reading the jump away. Mm -hmm. We saw how grounded Jen was being, just dashing back and forth. Tilda scouted that out from a mile away. Jen able to even up the stock count immediately, though, keeping this completely neck and neck. Pretty much no percent separating the two of them. Well, oh, here some goes percent the, now. Oh, we're trying to get that up there, but just not going to connect at those three nair loops. Oh, be careful on the ledge, <gasps> Tilde. Oh, if had that been off the ledge, it would have been over for Tilde. 
jump away just the last second. Got Jen out of the worst of it. But he's still trapped at the ledge. I'm loving this pressure from Tilde. How did that neutral alert come out so quick? That's gotta be it. Yep, yep that's it. Great job. That's also really hard to do. You notice he got the up tilt and mm -hmm. he has to do like the instant turn around, double jump back air. It's it's tricky, man. But Tilde just knows his stuff. Both very knowledgeable players just knowing all oh, that up air, that up tilt, uh, all that up smash is not gonna be doing enough to get Tilde's stock gone. However, it's still anyone's game. Like, all he has to do is just get one of these throws or any of these combos that he's able to back air. Not quite gonna kill yet, but for the same, gonna miss just slightly. So smart with the air dodge right mm -hmm. there. Thing is, though, Tilda is still not able to get back from the stage. He's so smart! He pays attention! This guy played on. Uh, he dies anyway. But that was. You saw that! He knew! He was just drifting out there knowing exactly when those platforms were going to come in, and he aimed right for them. That was absolutely so cool. Uh, it'd be a shame if he still lost this game. Oh my god. Right now, Jen getting these til these, these till day combos, these Falco, uh, Falco combos that everyone knows and loves. Well, well, not loves, but you know. No. They're, 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 they're easy to love when you're not the one in the middle Ooh. of them. Really smart that uh, oh, you see Jen tried reading the, the recovery, just was facing the wrong oh, direction. The wind box. Oh. Hold up, is the wind box actually gonna be a difference maker here? Okay. Nah. <gasps> okay. Town be careful, city? yeah. Let's yeah. say be yeah. careful coming back down because Tilde will follow you and make sure you are launched into the blast zone and getting your last stock, and that's exactly what he did. Yeah, it's something you see him do consistently. After he yeah. gets that up smash, if it doesn't kill, he will chase you up. He will you chase up, you. Though. Yeah, he will chase you for the up air. He do not care. Um, yeah, this was just catch the. I think I was probably jumping out of shield. And then, did he air dodge there? What was that? What was that animation? I actually got a replay on that. Yep. Uh, okay, so it's knocked all the way up here. Forward aired, and then is that just double jump? Yeah. Oh, he just double jumped. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, actually, that was really smart from Tilda because he went up there to chase him, but he faked him out. That's why he jumped in that instance because he thought that he was going to go all the way up there. Uh, so even in those situations where it's just like, oh, he landed the up air. No, Tilde baited him out to jump first. Like, there's always, you know, when you're a good player like Jen, it's, it requires thought in order to get him to do what you need him to do. Mm -hmm. Right now, Jen uh, taking a bunch of damage off of Tilde's up airs and, uh, and his usual, usual combos. Right? So, interesting we went back to this stage. Yeah, I was going to mention that we went, we went back to TNC for some, uh, for some reason, but I wonder if it's because... <laughs> I can't, actually, I can't even say why it's because. Jen is a run it back lord. That's ah, because Jen loves to run it back. Yeah, I mean, I, I could definitely see why. I feel like Jen maybe thought he was going to win that last game, but. I, oh, and that is one of interesting Tom and City we already saw last time around. The higher blast ones on the top managed to. That was such a pivotal miss. Oh my god. That might really cost him. <gasps> Landing right on that edge platform. But I mean, the best thing he could have done. Wow, did he go straight to the ledge? And instead of actually on the stage, Jen definitely thought he was going on the stage. Oh, but great down there, but Jen just completely stopping Tilda in his tracks, trying to get yeah. from the, on the ledge, on the, on the this, stage uh, again. By the way, this Jen lead brought to you by Mist back air. <laughs> there That's was, true. Earlier on, he should have been dead. He should have been dead like a minute ago. But now Tilda is actually having to fight Causeway back. Oh, I'm surprised. Town and city. Oh my god. No, impossible. Had that kill that at 64. I don't know. I believe in miracles at this point. And by miracles, I mean Palpatine killing you at 70? Oh, Ooh. but you know who else chases you to get your stock? Jen does not care. Will absolutely chase you down. 172 is still not dead. Ooh, but also has a two stock lead. Oh, and here come their combos. So much damage just for a single low percent mistake. And he's looking for these side Bs, and Jen is just he's scouting them out every time. He knows he can hold shield at these like higher kill percents. Yeah, like he's trying to go on uh -huh. for shield pressure, and just, Jen's not biting. That might be Interesting it. option to go up instead of change to the ledge again. Oh, oh, you sneaky little boy. <gasps> the wind. There's no way. I can't believe this. It's, hold on a second. I just want to point out for the class. Uh, for the class. If he really wanted to, 
he could have held and he, just yeah. hit him with the down smash. No, he released early to push him off. Uh, I, he might have lived. Would he have lived down smash at this percent? Nah, there we go. Yeah, is. that's actually. You'll notice. Oh my god. Yeah, like, look, look back at. If, yeah, to go back at it because you can see right here, like at the very last second before the wind connects, the drift back. He was scared. He drifts back just ever so slightly. Yeah, to try and avoid the down smash just desperately if he could. And then this release happens and it pushes him off. Wow. That's just, that's so good. Such good coverage from Jen. Yeah, that's going to be wow. Jen in winners. And sorry, in grand and finals on the winner's side. And now and over here we have Vivi versus Jazzy like coming up. I can't believe this is top six losers quarters. Losers quarters, yeah. Yes.